the most common reason that someone that will develop AF is that they've probably got some underlying issue with their heart. Uh, that might be that the heart might be slightly bigger than usual, or maybe they've had some damage to the heart through a heart attack, and those would be the most common reasons. But uh, some people can get AF and they've got an apparently normal heart, and, and they can be young. So despite the fact that there's, it's more common as you get old, it's not impossible to get it down to even you know, quite a young age. There's lots of different ways people can have a slightly abnormal heart. They can have something wrong with the plumbing, they can have something wrong with the electrics, they can have something wrong with the valves, and really any of them, any of those issues can make someone not more likely to develop AF. Um, there's also there's a host of underlying health conditions that increase someone's at risk of developing AF. There's a long list and it's, it's important if, if someone has AF to have a really long chat with the GP and to make sure there isn't any, any of those underlying health conditions that might have led to it. But the most common underlying conditions associated with AF are to do with the heart. So uh, in particular heart failure. Heart failure is where the pumping of the heart just isn't as efficient as it should be and the heart tends to be bigger and that, that tends to, to lead to AF. So a lot of people who have AF have got heart failure and the other way around, a lot of people who've got heart failure have got AF. So those two, th you know, uh, two things tend to be associated. We know that people who are obese are more likely to get AF. We know that people who have sleep apnea are more likely to get AF. We know that people who've had heart attacks are more likely to get AF. So there are conditions outside the heart that that lead to someone being more likely to develop AF. The most common one people might have heard of is the thyroid, and the thyroid's a gland in your neck that um, you know tends to be like the accelerator of the car, of the body, and if it's overactive, then then someone can go into AF. As well as that, kidney disease uh, plays a part. Diabetes can can play a part as well. And then there's things that you can't do much about. There's things like genetics. <clears throat> so we know that there's probably some tendency in families to get AF. It doesn't appear to be uh, very powerful in the sense that if your mother or father has AF, uh, you're not guaranteed to get AF, but you might be more likely than the average uh, you know, person.